In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to add API key authentication to your API using the Zuplo API Gateway and Management Platform. Uh, we have an existing API here that I've, I've configured, an API project, and it's proxying this to-dos route. So it's just doing a get, let's call that get all to-dos, so it's really clear. And I've already created a little test for this, so I can invoke this API easily. So let's go and see what that looks like. So when I call that, if we look at the body, you'll see it just gives me a big JSON stream of different fake to-do items. So very easy. Let's go and protect that with API key authentication. So I'm going to go into the routes file. I'm going to extend the policies section and I'm going to add a policy, API key authentication. And I'm going to save that. The default settings are fine. And that is now protected and needs an API key to access it. So let's just go and test that using the test client. And you'll see instantly, yep, I got a 401 unauthorized and this unauthorized response here. So now what I'm going to do is actually create an API key so somebody can call this API successfully. To do that, I'm going to go into the settings. I'm going to go into the API key consumers and I'm going to add a new consumer. You can call the subject anything. It's typically how you'd identify the key holder. So let's pretend this customer is SpaceX is going to be using um, our API and uh, the manager of that is going to be me because I'm giving the demo and I can add some simple metadata here that I can actually use in the runtime. So, you know, I'm going to say customer type is free and maybe uh, the roles this user has are admin. You get the idea. You can type in any JSON you like here. You can type in anything to um, to, to, that you might use in the gateway to make decisions. So now I've created that manager. What I need to do is go over to the developer portal that you'll see has all the documentation for this uh, get all to do's. And it says in order to access your API, just sign in um, so you can get your API credentials. So I'm going to sign in. Uh, I've signed in as josh at zuplo.com. That's my account. And it can see that there is a SpaceX key here. So I can create a key. And that actually creates a key for me now. I'm going to copy that. And if I take it over to my test client now, instead of getting a 401, when I add authorization, bearer, space, and then paste that key in and hit test, you'll see I get a 200 OK again, and I now get my to-dos. So you can see that we're actually enforcing API the authentication was very quick. And also notice the format of this key. If that key gets checked into GitHub, we'll automatically notify you, revoke the key, notify the customer, all depending on how you want it by, based on your settings. Cool.